exactly. And you got, you got you kind of just have to laugh it off. I mean, the and the when I see that shit happening, that's why everyone's behaving right now. So they're not saying crazy comments and everything because they don't want me to delete Instagram again. And I will. I'll keep doing it because it's mine. That's what you gotta do, bro. Take t- take the privilege of having access to you away from them, bro. Because that's actually killing them. Trust me. I know. And then they're like, "Show us the dogs. Show us the dogs." Everyone that says that gets blocked. Man. I don't have show to me show baby. you show me shit. the baby. Uh, n- no. Man. What for your uh, screen recorded YouTube video with your crummy fucking channel? That's obsessed over me with 552 videos of me. Holy shit, bro. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of videos. 552. That's a you catalog. You got to be deranged and literally, like. Something ain't right, bro. I don't even think there's that many episodes of The Simpsons. <laughs> the Simpsons. <laughs> no, there isn't. No, yeah, that's pretty. This girl, cool. Lauren, she goes, dude. Hey, well, guess what, dude? You're gone. Bye. Unsolicited. Dude, dude, dude. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, dude. Reload the Wesson. What'd you say? I said reload the Wesson. Reload the Wesson. How's that doing? I know the truth and I'm not kidding. Fucking cute, man. Mm I'm going to send you some videos when we get off. Mm -hmm. Please do. They were like, like longing so bad they're like oh my god show me the boobies before I poop like <laughs> I gotta poop but I'm gonna stay here watching <laughs> <laughs> fucking sitting there fucking farting on their grandma's chair <laughs> I know the truth and I am not kidding already finished you start back at the beginning how am I already winning <laughs> I know the truth and I am not kidding. Nope. See, that's a very integral. That's the, mm. See, that might just go by a lot of listeners' ears, the untrained listener. But Correct. to me, that, that line is a very, very powerful line in that song. It is. It's the, it's, it's the catalyst to the whole song. That's right. Yeah, it's the catalyst. For sure. Yeah, man. And maybe they're taking my my advice and, and moving on with their lives. They might be. I hope that they do because they need they need to have a life, you know. I, I I I could never see myself dedicating so much of my time to another person that I've never met. And I don't know. That's I I would think that there's something wrong with with me <laughs> if i was doing that you know what i mean that's what trips me out the most is that these people have never actually met you and they like they want to formulate these opinions or try to convince people that know you personally like myself of things about you and it's like but you've never met him so how are you how are you going to try to tell me about a guy because they never think they know me just based off of an ig live which yeah. they don't you They're don't, like oh you don't, aaron's don't have any fucking clue just from an IG live, you don't know me. You don't. You don't know me at all, bro. They, if you, if they you got know, to know me, you want to know you probably, we would probably be chill, and you would be happy that you got to know me. They know what you want them to know, bro. And if they think they know any more, then they're fools. You know what I mean? They know what you show them, and what you show them is far from everything. So, because we're sliding on them. That's right, man. Escalades on 26 is when we Biden on, on him. <laughs> Presidential rollies, we might have went Biden on him. <laughs> <laughs> I see them talking down, but we ain't hiding from them. We sliding on them. <coughs> Cold fat. 
Get with the times, Aaron Carter. You're irrelevant. Sure. Then how? Then why are you here? Then if he's irrelevant, then why Wait, are you why here you for this the conversation? Request button and go live and talk to us. Yeah. Just go. Go ahead, Matt. <laughs> this should be interesting. Yeah, he's, a pussy. <laughs> he's, gonna do it. he's a little puss boy. How can you say someone's irrelevant when you're literally here late at night watching their live? What up, Brian? Winter Havens just came in. Two winters <laughs> in the building, man. Two winters. I don't. It's cold. Yo, I think the video for sliding, bro, we need some fucking snowmobiles and that shit, man. Pulling up on no, snowmobiles. It's gotta just be like one goofy video of just going down the hill fucking fast as shit on that thing. <laughs> and then just like all these, we'll put like the faces of like, we'll get like um, printed faces of all the trolls that we can find and have them coming out of the woods like bears, like, like chasing us, trying to get us. <laughs> 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 That shit would be like epic. Out of the woods and like slide away. <laughs> epic. Freezing tits. Here comes Brian. Frozen nips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said laugh out loud irrelevant, but watching them like you're a fan. Hey, like what? What? What difference? It, it doesn't make a difference in my life if I'm relevant or if I'm not relevant. I don't, I don't even know, like, what that means, really. I think as long as you decide to be online, you'll be relevant. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't understand what that means. And if someone says it, it's just like they're, they're literally contradicting them, what they're saying right as they say it. It's strange. If they even know anything about something that is outside of their life, then that means that thing's relevant or else they wouldn't know about it. I don't know if that made sense, but... No, it makes sense. It makes sense to me. Like, think about it. Kim and Kanye are relevant. We know what they're doing. We know what's going on. You are relevant. We know what you're doing. We know what's going on. The blogs are reporting on you, fucking E! News, all these people. You know, fucking Jay-Z and Beyonce are irrelevant. We know what's going on because the same blogs that print about them, print about you or print about... You know what I mean? So how can you say someone's not relevant when E! News, when uh, fucking whatever that other bullshit is, what's that other shit that everyone watches? TMZ. When all these people are reporting on you daily, that's kind of what makes you relevant, I think, by definition, wouldn't it be like... Well, yeah, and I mean... The like reload, care uh, what you're reload doing? the lesson, which Brian Cassidy wrote, the uh, the Winter Havens at the bottom. He's pinned. He wrote um, th just from an Instagram post. They posted that on Billboard, and it was the number one trending uh, Billboard article. And that's just off an Instagram post. Now we got City of Dreams and all all these other amazing records that we're doing, and there wasn't one time for the love album that they put up a clip of what I was making in billboard, you know, for the love album. That's right. Not one time. So that's because you weren't online at that time. Entertaining, these, entertaining these people that don't appreciate it. And that's what they need to understand is that you are online. That's what, that's what makes you relevant. If you go offline, what are you supposed to do? Just go offline and shut your music career off? Like, do, they just don't make any sense, bro. Oh, shit, Brian said I can, can come out next weekend. You got to get here, too, bro. I'll be there. You just tell me when, and I'll be there. Bro, unsolicited. Yeah, we got episodes to shoot, man. They're dying for that one. People ask me every day about unsolicited, literally. Yeah, but then they all they all back up when because they don't want to get exposed, so they all pussy out. Does he live in Florida? Yes, he does. Yeah. Florida. Cata. <laughs> I love that man. He says he's bringing his party moves. Oh shit, bro! You got it. There's <laughs> yes, video. He was here when we recorded so much to say. I was like. I just walked in. He was doing some dance move downstairs. I don't know if you saw it. 
<laughs> Would you record him? Dope. I love that man. It's my brother right there. He's a talented songwriter, bro. Even Very those people tried to do that with him too. They tried to get in. They tried to get in his mess and his business and do all this kind of dumb shit and 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 fuck with him, but. Just know that we're smarter than you guys. And when you think that you're getting somewhere, we're actually playing with your emotions. So we're playing with your emotions. So it's like we said, right? Play dumb games, get dumb prizes, right? And we can we can hand out dumb prizes all day, man. We got a whole box full. Yeah, I give those dumb dumbass prizes to my dogs and then they shred them up <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> bless you, baby boy. Oh bless you, baby boy. Oh my god. Three piece. The lucky one, buddy. Young PLC, Prince Larry Carter. <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> don't don't forget Uncle Andrew ordained that first PLC. I know. I don't have I never will. <laughs> <laughs> I never will. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> Prince Larry Carter is going to be talented, bro. I already got the intuition, man. He's going to be a very talented young man. You think so? I do. I really do. He's, he's, he's a, the most beautiful thing ever in this world. It's like, it's still hard to, to it's crazy to look at him because like, I see so like my features and things in, in him and it's just he does look a lot like you bro i can't even lie man you know, the, the like fingernails you. bro he's got the same fingernails as me man. it's, it's oh, yeah. the easiest thing he like, downloaded your blueprint bro he got the same blueprint man do you know how many people when i did that just looked to see if i had dirt under my fingernails yeah dude. a lot of them <laughs> there's one for them <laughs> stick it up your ass yeah. take. Meanwhile, a guy who rides dirt bikes and works on his dirt bikes. Oh, you have dirt in fingernails. Yeah, it's because I have a fucking. I work on dirt bikes and cars. Like <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like while you're sitting there typing and you get your nails done. Cool. That's right. You gotta get a. You gotta get a manic manicure every week because you type so much on your fucking computer. Yo, did you see these electric dirt bikes? Electric dirt bikes. Bro, there's electric dirt bikes that are beating like two fifties and four fifties. Shit, bring it. Bro, they're so weird too. They make like no sound. Like if you watch a video, one of them I ripping on the that. track. I, is that a real thing? Bro, it's a real thing. And they're beating, bro, they're beating the big 450s, beating the big like yeah, the Cowies, no, the no, Suzuki's. No, no, no. Like, the I have the fastest dirt bike in the world, so I'll be very upset. I'll have to get the electric one. Hold on. Bro, they're ridiculous, but it's weird because they don't make a sound. So it's like, it's very odd. Like, because normally you know how the, <laughs> what the bike's doing by the sound of it, right? It's like. Oh man, it's oh wow! It, the electric motocross bike is changing the industry. Oh no! You gotta go electric. Stark Varg. New one wheels. Introducing the all new one wheel GT and Pi Tax, our best one wheels. We don't typically do the first look on an electric motorcycle until we've ridden it, but because this is an important one. We're going to break down the first look of the most exciting electric dirt bike of the year. Oh, man. And it's going to be lighter, too. Bro, they haul ass. They haul ass. Bro, it's going to be lighter, too. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Stark is a Swedish brand, which means Ooh, strong, Swedish. Stark means wolf. The bike is being manufactured in Barcelona. Stark. I'm in love with Iron Man and Wolf. Now. Oh, shit. Pretty exciting to share that it's finally ready to show off. <laughs> oh, I'm getting one of these. What are they, like, 20? I don't even know how much. <laughs> Somebody tell me how much the Stark bike is. The Varg has a whopping 80 horsepower, which, for comparison purposes, is approximately 25 more horsepower than a 2021 Honda CRF 450. 20 more horsepower than the 450 the than the CRF 450. That's what I have. Shock resistant smartphone that clips into the bar pad. No way. Control unit or dash of the bike. Bro. Within the app, Did you see that? The phone goes into fucking. In the handlebars. Bro, I had to put you on. I know you love bikes. Engine braking, 
traction control Hold on, this is virtual flywheel into 100 different ride modes. I got I want to hear it though. I want to hear the, the the sound though of what it sounds like. Yo, look this up. Look up look up CRF 450 versus electric dirt bike and then you'll hear the sound. You'll see like they have a GoPro on and you'll see them racing around the track. And it's, it sounds crazy. Wait, some girl just said, why did you kick me out? I kicked you out again. Get out of here. Because I felt like it. Electric dirt bike 450 uh, verse, versus a verse. CRF 450. Got it. I'm on it. He said, good luck, boys. And he's on that. Yeah. He's on they're they're going to need it, too. Trust me. What the fuck, dude? It's crazy. It makes no sound. It's so weird. I wouldn't even know how to, like, like approach. I'd kick you in your head to an electric dirt bike. Oh, my God. He's gone. Sounds weird, eh? You hear that sound? It sounds like a I fucking say, toy car. Yeah. <laughs> like a toy car, bro, when you're a kid. Like an RC car. Oh, I want to go on that track, too. That track is dope. Alien technology. Ah, uh, he's getting him. He's getting him. Ah, fucker. I don't want the electric bike to win, bro. <laughs> I didn't know what to think myself when I watched that exact video. I was like... <laughs> yeah, bro, RC car. An RC car. That's what it sounds like. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. <laughs> oh, you better slow down, boy. Something about the sound of it's kind of cool, though, man. I don't know. As much as I love the sound of a 450. Yeah, I mean, but... but... Imagine not have to lug gas around. Oh. Yeah, but that's the whole fun with having a dirt bike is the gas tanks and the sound. But that shit clearly doesn't matter here. <laughs> it doesn't. He's gone. He's gone. He whooped their asses already. He right by all them, He's gone. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Like the no sound things tripping me. I can't even put this together right now. Me neither. That was the part that was the weirdest for me. So smooth. I wonder if they put like weights in it to, to make it heavier. They probably did. They must. Because it would need to be like, couldn't be too light. <laughs> the zip line bike. It's still, it's like, it's like you, it's like a two stroke that you hear from like two miles away. It still has a, a like, it's got the. Yeah, that's the true. Yeah, that's true. It sounds like, it sounds like a, a bike you hear in like the distance or something. Like, cause it's still got it. It would just be a weird thing to get to know. Cause like, like a lot of riding a bike is based on the sound of the engine that lets you know where you're at the RPM ranges when, the, you know what I mean? Even hitting jumps. So it's like. It'd be like a new learning curve, you know? Oh, man. Hold on. Let me see if they got this for sale somewhere. 
Electric bike for sale stuck. Oh, here we go. What? Bro, it's it's a thousand ninety nine. It's a thousand. Should, should we order a couple and make a make an episode of the unsolicited uh, video video blog? Wait, I, I, I'm I'm tripping. Wait, unless there's a. What I said it was no big deal. Look, what? You gotta be kidding me. I'm, I gotta be looking at the wrong shit. No. I want. Wait, there it is. Stark Varg electric motocross bike. I was thinking oh, it'd be like six go. or seven 12, or eight. 900. 12? 12,900, yeah. Still not bad. Oh, I'm buying this bike. You kind of have to at bike. this point. I'm not gonna use it. Yeah, it's called a Stark. Look how beautiful it is. It doesn't make any sounds. It's it not looks scary. just like the other one you have. <laughs> it looks like it, but it doesn't work like it. <laughs> oh my god. She doesn't get my infatuation over dirt bikes. It's okay. But I don't, it's no different. I don't get your infatuation over Juicy Couture. That's one thing. She like <laughs> the last two years she put them all together, bro. Do you know how much juicy couture she had? She filled up the whole damn closet. Fuck, man. She bought everything that juicy couture has. Well, I did. Well, call her closet the juice box. <laughs> the juice box. <laughs> wait, wait, that's cool, actually. The juice box. Put put that on the wall in pink neon. <laughs> he said, "Put that on the wall in pink neon." The juice box. <laughs> Yeah, dirt bikes are dope, though. You got to get Prince uh, a, a 50cc bike, too, when he gets old enough, like four or five years yeah, yeah, old. Yeah, I will. I know. The the pit bike that I got for him is too, that's too strong. It's a 125. Oh, yeah, that's way too much. Yo, they're yeah, making yeah, these. Um, I know, uh, like an 80 or a 50. Yo, they're making these Chinese bikes right now, too, that are like just over $1,000, man. And Chaos. They have, uh, Chaos. Yeah, they have an engine based on the old Honda, uh, old Honda engines, and that's what that's what the little pit bike I have is. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Yeah, I heard they're fun as fuck, bro. I, I looked at a few reviews of those online. Oh, it it tears it tears it up actually. It's pretty. Yeah, they rip it, ass. Like it, I was it's surprised. All the way down, three up, no no uh, clutch or anything, but it's still. Yeah, fun as fuck to drive, and that's what it's about at the end of the day, bro. Is what's fun, you know what I mean? Someone said I have a shit ton of Louis Vuitton. Oh yeah, that's true. I do. That's the only. That's the only. Well, Louis Vuitton and Dolce. Those are the only two brands I really like. AC, the Louis Vuitton Don bought Melanie a purse. Now she's Louis Vuitton mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she approves. She doesn't care. She is looking at. A, I I saw you today looking at a four forty nine hundred dollar Louis Vuitton bag. Yo, get her MCM. Buy her something from MCM, man. I don't know MCM if she likes MCM. Play. No, I, I, I think I had a backpack from MCM before, and I think I returned it. <laughs> Yo, Aaron, you got to get up on Philip Klein too, bro. Get up on the Philip. Oh, I know Philip Klein. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the stores and everything. I just, you know. I feel like yeah. you could be like a model for Philip Klein, man. He fucks with like the rap, like urban, you know, fly community and shit. Bro, I'm more interested in this bike than Philip Klein. Fuck that. What the? F like what? Oh, this thing is sexy too. I just don't like that it doesn't have a sound. That's the only thing that bothers me. But well, know. hey, yo, we can just put a hockey card in the fucking spokes like we used to do back in the day—a baseball card. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they should do something. They should have like an addition to it. Like, you can do that. They definitely should. Stark Varg. You need to pull that out in a music video, bro. It's so sexy. 
But this is AC, what I'm interested in. The weight. ACDC. So 242 pounds. I love how, how much they is the in, in, in C, I, lo, I love how they don't put the stats in CCs. They say horsepower. <laughs> so 80 horsepower would be like probably like like five 525 CC. I don't think it has any CCs because it doesn't have an engine. The engine CCs is the cubic centimeter measurements yeah, of the yeah. engine. And it's fucking electric, so it probably has no CCs because it doesn't have an engine like that. Probably has it's like just, a fucking power just left. Power. It has an electric motor, but I don't think they would measure it in cubic centimeters the same way they would with a gasoline engine. Up to six hours range. Shit. Can you imagine Charged one charge one for six hours? hours? It says ride modes, more than 100. What? What does that even mean? I have, I, I don't know. Maybe like Took different all terrain, all terrain, uh, racing, racing. Uh, launch control, probably shit like that. Yo, do you, think it, do you think it's different fuel mappings maybe for different setups for whatever you want to ride it for? Like if you want to race it or if you just want to chill on it or if you're going to use it for like a day-to-day -day driver or you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It's just like if you want to have like a launch control, if you're on a track, then you have a different, you have launch control. That's a riding mode. I think that's yeah. Probably. How long does it take to charge it? An hour to two hours. Oh, shit, man. A bad cell phone charger is pretty much an hour, so that's pretty good. Yo, have you ever been to a motor? I'm, I'm actually surprised. It's not that bad. 12,000? Not that bad for it. No, nah, that's not much. More like 20. I know. I knew it wasn't a thousand. I was like, nah. But this is different, though. This bike's. And they make it in Sweden, too? Yo, have you ever been to a MotoGP event? No. Supercross? I have a, uh, I, I mean, yeah. Other than, other than the movie? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I've uh, ghost ridden for people a couple times when they couldn't do it. But I can't say who I did for. So I've eaten some big shit, even today. True. That was a dope movie, actually. I fucked with that movie when it came out. Supercross? Yeah. Yeah, I, I did more scenes on the bikes doing my own stunts than I did in the movie. <laughs> Ooh, they got a gray one, too. Gunmetal one. You got to get a custom paint job. The red is dope, though. The red is fire. Oh, there's tons of articles on it. Lindsay? A little boy. I don't know why I buy these letters. Someone said, look up, a uh, Briggs said, look up quad skis. The fuck is a quad ski? It's like a palm ski. What is it? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. Oh. Oh. Yo, you know that's, you know that sled Wait, I was on in that video? Crazy. You ever seen it's a, it's a fucking four wheeler and a jet ski all in one. That's weird. What do you mean? Bro. Like it goes on the land and in the water? Yeah, bro. Look at this. Look, look at this, dude. This thing's crazy. Oh shit! That's what you need in the Florida Keys for sure. What? They really did that? That's the Florida no Key glider. Shit. A quad ski. That's ingenious. That's brilliant, because you could take the fucking jet ski, and then you can go up on a, a random island and go search around, and then just go back in the water. That's dope as fuck. Hell yeah. Good looking out, Briggs. I'm going to follow you. Bye. What the fuck? Good job, Briggs. You got any, new, you got any other technology you want to put us on to there, Briggs? Yeah, because that one's crazy. I got to take a screenshot of that shit. 
yo, did you see these mountain bikes that got uh, that got electric motors on them too? That are like yes, I did see th- I did see those yes. And I they're hit, they're hitting mortar cross jumps. Oh, I didn't see that. I just saw that. Yeah, yeah, bro. They're just they're bicycles, but they got enough juice. They're hitting mortar cross jumps and shit, riding on mortar cross tracks. And they're bicycles. That's nuts. How come, oh man, I'm so happy we had this conversation. <laughs> Never would have known. Know. You know, every, time, every time we talk, bro. Every time we talk. I mean, the quad ski looks a little janky right now, though. I think they. Yeah, they got to work that out. They got to work that out a bit. It doesn't it look a little. <laughs> it looks a little janky. <laughs> you drive up on the beach, that shit start falling apart or start fucking <laughs> cutting out. <laughs> it just looks. A, it just looks a little. I don't know. It, it ain't ready. It ain't ready. Put it back in. It's not ready yet. It will be. 2023. <laughs> I want to see somebody using it, though. Hold on. Like, There's probably this somebody thing, on here this thing looks like a, a Goofy George, bro. If I got one, I'd literally name him Goofy George. But yeah, it's my quad ski. It's Goofy George. <laughs> you have to have a special personality to drive a quad ski. It's like only... <laughs> it's like, you know... It's like, it's like a certain thing, you know? Right, here we go. Yeah, all these, all the females in the chat are like, we do not give a fuck about this. <laughs> you know, like, what? oh my God, I made it. Uh, that sucks. And bye, bye. I was talking about that's weird, man. Runs when that bitch flips over. They're even laughing, bro. Yo, they're even la- <laughs> <Not> <laughs> even laughing. in the water. <laughs> this guy's trying to look serious. Come on, please break out laughing. Yeah, nah, you ain't getting. Still got some, you ain't getting. They still got some work they gotta do. So that goes in the water. All right, you ain't getting no pussy on a quad ski. I'll tell you that. No Wait, pussy what? on the quad ski. What? I said you ain't getting no pussy if you're riding a quad ski. Like if you pull up on the beach, there ain't no chicks that are gonna be running up definitely like, oh my not, god, like, what's no, up? You're definitely not. No. No, my 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 girl would be like, I gotta get off this thing. This isn't. Yeah. And, uh, what? Look at look at she's laughing, bro. She's <laughs> laughing. She's laughing. <laughs> They're all laughing on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's janky, bro. It's janky. Yeah, Quadski's not ready. They tried though. You can tell by the music too, like the old '80s like soundtrack, <laughs> Top Gun music. I mean, it's a it's it's a brilliant idea. I like the idea. It's. I mean, it's not too it's not too bad, really. I mean. Well, yo, bro. When they mixed the peanut butter and jam in the same jar, it was a good idea too, but it just didn't work out. You know. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> What the hell was that called again? Uh, I forget. I, I remember that shit. What was that called? That was like it seemed, smucker, seemed like a great idea, but in yeah, the real world, it seemed like a good idea. But once you get the knife in there, you're like, man, this is weird, man. Yeah, just yeah. didn't work out. Oh, no problem, Briggs. I followed him. Thanks for the follow, bro. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, enlightening me. Yeah, bro. Briggs and is the authority. Says, Not all girls are into makeup and brand names to feel like women. Huh. Uh. That's a fact. Yeah. Some women are out there hitting hitting the waves on the quad ski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're <laughs> imagine a girl following up to you, be like, "Yo, hey, Andrew!" <laughs> 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 Crashed into a tree. <laughs> Bro, do you know the weirdest part about the quad ski would be the community around it? Like when you go to a quad ski event, like the kind of people that would be there. (laughs) (laughs) It'd be the most interesting group of people. Bro, I guarantee you James Garrison is going to be going to get himself a quad ski. (laughs) (laughs) I think we might... (laughs) <laughs> bro, 
Bro, he might have invented the fucking quad ski. <laughs> Uh, I just started laughing so I'm like sweating on my neck. <laughs> and nobody really knows what we're laughing about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember Jane Garrett James Garrettson? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Tiger King dude. Fuck I'm crying, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> We might have to get him one after he does the interview. We might have to do the interview on Quad On the Quad Ski. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yo. We got to get him on the Quad Ski. We got to do an interview on the Quad Ski. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Hello, it's Andrew Winter here uh, reporting from the uh, Florida Keys. We are here today on the Quad Skis with my friend Aaron uh -huh. Carter. <laughs> Right up against him. <laughs> no, Jim, jump out. He's got like a Flintstone knot on his head. Yeah, you just see the dock get ripped right apart. <laughs> Wait, an account called BSB underscore army underscore girl underscore 1997 just joined. That's, you're creepy. Wow. 1997, eh? Living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just create that account? I feel like 2007 was a long time ago, let alone 97. Yeah, my God. That's when I started my... Oh, it's 26 years ago. I'm jamming out to baby music now, bro. <laughs> you should make a kid's song, bro. Yo, you should make a kid's song, bro. Think about the bag and the kid's song, bro. Yeah, because they put them on these little machines. Like, I got, I could play the little piano with them. Hold on. Wait. No, I don't like that song. Oh my god. This is my life now, bro. Oh my god, stop playing the animal bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, I don't want to hear the animal bear. I want a different song, man. Musical animals. Let's play the elephant. It's an elephant, buddy. Oh, He's okay. <laughs> smiling right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like that, buddy? Ooh, little birdie. Two can Sam. Ooh, a nice little melody. I know, yeah. Actually, I might need to sample that. Yeah, that's nice. Bro, yeah, that's nice. what if I sample that and make a beat out of it? Bro, you got yeah, it. Make a kid's song, bro. Make a kid's song. I'm telling you. It'll blow oh, I up. Can do it. You can. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little two. Look at the crappy. He's like, oh, I'm into it. That's what's going to make him a great producer one day, bro, these experiences. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. yeah. You got to record that. Wait, if you, it let me, like, play the piano, but I could play a song. <laughs> animal bear song. Get out of here. An animal bear's back. I can't do the animal. And we went to the animal bear. Oh, my. <laughs> you like you like daddy being frustrated? Oh my god! Oh. Not the lion. Not the lion. <laughs> oh, nice drums. 
You're a little lion. That's right. The prince will one day be the king. Real talk, is the house in Nova Scotia still for sale? No, I looked into it. It's not. They sold it. Damn it. Damn it. But there's others. There's others that Yo, is are Is the market like, really like that up there? That's insane to me. I'll send you some more. I'll send you a few other ones I was looking at that are like in the same ballpark. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, Zelda. Zelda. Oh, I got to take her off. What the fuck is it? I got the sparkle shit. Hold up. Yeah, this is better. And we went to an animal fair. Like, See, it's stuck in your head now. That's why you got to make a kid song, bro. They just ain't doing it right, bro. Bro, bro, weren't you on Sesame Street before? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> Me and my brother. It was the most awkward thing <laughs> we've ever done in our careers, I think. <laughs> it was the dumbest. Like, like we had to sing a song. Uh, I like to sing high. I like to sing low. I like to sing high. I like to sing low. Like that. <laughs> and it was about like two like brothers like. Uh, Bert and Ernie. Brothers like arguing about things. It was Bert and Ernie, right? Yes. <laughs> hey Bert. What's going on, Bert? I honestly that I don't tell anybody that. Okay, I'll keep it on the low. I won't no, tell you anybody. Can't now, thanks. <laughs> now, just, like, if these YouTube channels were clever, they'd start adding some touch of comedy in there. Oh, Nala, but, Nala, out. Bro, one out. day though, your son's like, gonna be geeked off yeah. the fact that you were on that show. One day, your son's gonna be so impressed with that. Oh my God! Did you hear what he said? Oh, you've never seen me on Sesame Street. Oh, yeah, I have. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, the Sesame Street, Street gig is up there, Aaron. Everybody knows now. Man. I you feel like Raphael like, lost his side in the first one. He's like, oh, man. I lost you the side. Me. And then Splinter's like, then it is gone. But I can get it back. I can get it back. Come on. No. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it's not, it's not my forte. Um, bro, my, the, the, oh my God, they had him wear this fucking tucked in, like striped brown shirt, and he, it was like a polo, and it's tucked in. It was terrible. I don't know. I don't know why they did him like that on, on the Sesame Street thing, bro. Whose idea was this? Fuck, it wasn't mine. That's for damn sure. I don't know. It was just we wouldn't. I, it's, the song was like called something like Point of View. It's a, I don't fucking know. It was, it was. No. But yo, I think that's like, what, when your kid's like, you know, three, four years old and he's watching Sesame Street and you show him that, he's going to be like, geeked. Yo, here come all the, the Discord bots in the account. Why don't y'all start talking? Here we go. I can see you coming in, in your in your waves. Bring them in. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. It's hard to yell with my rails and jump out. Swizzy. Oh, Cody. She said, "Aaron, it was two-headed monster." Yeah, it was. Cody, you've seen you've seen it. Yes, she's seen it. She saw what? Sesame Street. Ah. There's a two-headed monster in Sesame Street? Yeah, but the, no, it was Elbow. It was, it was uh -huh. Elbow talking in the thing. I might have to, I might have to go play that. <laughs> this girl said, why are we watching their FaceTime? Uh, you're not anymore. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
That's why it says ice cream. I mean, look, as it gets cold. I have yeah, to. Like, we have to like do our mountain our mountain journey again. Yeah, bro. Has to happen. You're you're Six. booked. You're booked in the summer though, right out there? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll roll with you for sure. Mufasa, daddy, you can't meet your puppies yet, buddy. We're both daddies, boy. Oh, you're big. Hi. Hello. Mufasa hasn't met them yet. Bro, look how big he is. He's a, look at this motherfucker. He's a monster. His head's like four times bigger than mine. He's a fucking monstrous motherfucker. You named him right then. Young Mufasa. He's not one to be trifled. Nah. Come hey, around. Daddy, buddy. Come your around daddy. at your own at your, your own daddy. rest. Your daddy. Do you know your daddy? Do you know? Yo, Aaron. Yo. I got a friend who's a, like a Purple Heart winner in the U.S. military for training dogs. Him and his dog both had got the Purple Heart in Afghanistan. Wow. And he's like, he was one of the top uh, dog trainers in the whole U.S. Army. And he would love to connect with you, man. And he lives in Vegas. He'd love to come out, you know, give you, like, you know, do a few things or whatever. He mentioned it. And he's a real good guy, and he's an actual American hero, bro, for real. You know? oh, I would love that. I would, yeah. love that. I would love that. I mean, because that's some that's where I'm, you know, one of the things I'm doing is like, I really love training dogs and working with, with o obedience. And because I specialize in like obedience stuff, like not really the attack canine type dog. That's yeah, he knows how to do it all, bro. Like the stuff he does with dogs is amazing. And he's like, honestly, bro, a real genuine guy. I met him when I was living down in Vegas, bro. And he's He's a real genuine guy, and he's super knowledgeable, bro, like I said. And he, he literally has the credential as one of the top trainers in the military before he retired, man, so. Really? His name's Justin Kitts. Yeah, he, he owns a company called Dog uh, Dog Boss Vegas or something like that. I'll, I'll send you all the info or whatever. Well, just let him know that now you said his name, all the trolls are going to come after him. He's bro. If they come after him, they're fucking pieces of shit, man. He he literally put everything on the line for them multiple times, multiple times, man. You already know how they work. They're obsessed. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you did. You could have walked on water, and they'll still come after you. Yeah, Yo, you gotta send me some more beats, bro. What, I'm done with more AC production. I'll give a, okay, they're gonna clip uh, something of boost oxygen. Yes, exactly. I don't care. I don't. I really don't give a fuck. Yo, you gotta send me more beats, bro. I'm starving for that sound, bro. <laughs> bro, I'll send you a folder. Bro, please do, because, like, honestly, man, like, I don't know. I'm only as inspired to make music as I am by the beat, and I, I'm real picky with beats, bro. Like, I'm so picky. And, like, nobody has what I need other than, you know, obviously, what, you, what you're bringing to the table over there. That sliding beat you made was ridiculous, man. Like, I can't even believe that shit. Everybody that heard that shit, bro. Lost their mind, bro. Everybody that heard that shit lost their mind. They're like, you tried it. Yeah, they were like, you produced that? Like, I was like, yeah, bro. I don't think they knew you could make that kind of beat. Like, I, I know they know you can produce, but I don't think that they knew you could make, like, them, those kind of beats. Oh, but, man, That's right. That's what they're underestimating. Someone said, Aaron, can you come to a show in Tampa? Janet, Jonas, Jonas Live is a cool venue in St. Pete. Um, sure. <laughs> He's having a time of his life right now. Are you trying to sing or something, buddy?
Prince Lyric got all the bomb jams at the house, man. What was that one? Am I really going to start making beats like that? You got it. No. <laughs> at least for a little bit until he grows up. I think if you made a kid's song, bro, it would blow up. And I think a lot of kids would love it, bro. I think I already made plenty. Like, I think I think I made enough for, <laughs> for for three lifetimes, bro. That's funny. I never even thought about it like that. Uh, what up, Aria Co Jewelry? You're hilarious, bro. I never even thought about it like that. I've made enough kid songs. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. I got plaques for them. Yeah, you're right. Wait, hold on. I want to go through some. Yo, the best award, though, is the Teen Choice Surfboard, bro. I'm obsessed with that shit, man. Ever since I was a kid, bro, when I seen that award, I was like, that would be the coolest award to win. Yeah, I, I, that's my, one of my favorite ones, too. And I had, like, three people take it from me, and I had to get it back in the, since 2001. I think I might have been watching that year when you won that. Like, in my memory, I can vaguely remember that shit. Like, I feel like I watched that. Sorry, I'm going through chalks right now. Maybe interested. Wait, hold on. Oh shit! Was that like the sample of the down under? I, I come from an end down under. Is that like the same kind of little melody? Um, uh, kind of. This one's dope. This one's crazy. This is like some future house shit. Modulation in this is crazy. Where it modulates, what? Watch. It's crazy. No one does this shit anymore. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Thank 
love this dude. Be waiting. Cause I won't be coming home tonight. You ain't 
Spitting like a motherfucker. Yes. But yo, man, I'm gonna hit you up tomorrow, bro. Hit me up. Send me I'm some out beats too. If you got there. All right, All right bro. Love you, man. All right, let me.